Good morning, folks. This eerie looking animation is a neutron star and its gas jet. A link and description article is provided below. Top story of the year so far, they believe they can use underground electricity to predict earthquakes. The ground currents can be enormous, like the ones induced from space weather, like bolts of lightning underground. And this isn't new. For a long time, I've been discussing the electromagnetic anomalies of earthquakes both above and below the ground, like in 2008 in China and in Japan 2011. The currents produce magnetic fields and create detectable cyclotron radiation, but please hold this electric quake idea for just a second. The East Coast is one of a few locations seeing faster sea level rise than the rest of the world. Almost doesn't make sense. But greater surface tension due to higher electrostatic energy is having an effect. Now when you pull up the US magnetics, your first reaction probably won't be, oh thanks, that's much simpler. But if you'll look, the strongest, longest, and most continuous magnetic region is along our coastline. Also, magnetism is high at fault lines and some places away from fault lines. You know we got the world magnetics map on here as well. Now a word of caution. This is a picture in time. I imagine these systems are dynamic, especially in the oceans where currents produce their own fields. But to tie this all back in, the extra energy off the US East Coast, the use of ground currents to predict quakes, the magnetism of that which is beneath our feet dictates the path and the resistance to those ground currents we were discussing earlier. We need updated charts, but you can have some fun with this one. While it's true that the Antarctic down south set record high ice marks six months ago, the Arctic up north has been warming, seriously. Solid link here on the changes in lack of ice. Also got a chart of the mountain glacier change. Despite melting just about everywhere, Europe appears to be going the other way. Blue indicates double negative. Negative thinning means the EU is getting more ice. Lastly on the articles, got a flooding map based on sea level rise you can play with. And if you haven't checked the UN climate stuff, it is a lot of arguments against my combined causation hypothesis. They are saying it's pretty much all about human CO2. But hey, it's good to hear the opposite viewpoint from time to time. Volcano erupting in Russia. Beautiful photos here, courtesy of Xinhua. New feature on the RSOE EDIS alert map, night and day shown, that's kind of cool. In Washington state, workers are being checked after a radiation exposure warning signal rang out at the plutonium finishing facility. Wind and flooding are wreaking havoc in Israel and Lebanon. The wind carries all the way to Iran in a sandstorm. In Australia, there was fire at a nuke plant, but officials report that all is well there. Weakened Sonamu in the South China Sea just bouncing along the Malaysian coastline, while just northwest of Australia there is trouble brewing. Cyclone Norel is expected to strengthen, and although Western Australia is less populated, this thing is headed directly for Exmouth in the Cape Range National Park. Wind and pressure? See the pattern. Air appears to be racing away from Virginia in all directions. Out west you see air moving outward from a central location near California. You see some wind rushing up north to Canada and some flying towards Mexico. The pressure map reveals high pressure peaks at the locations where wind was spread away and dove into the lows north and south. You don't need a weatherman. Cosmic ray density is still falling, even though the very latest data is lagging. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jack, but I believe this is the highest sunspot number of this cycle, but of course, we still don't have large flares. Looking at the sunspots in the visible spectrum, we have so much decaying, especially in the center where that former beast popped the New Year's eruption. Even the Southern Sisters are looking pitiful. I'm in a tough spot because this set up here looks like they should make you hold your hat, but will it? Perhaps a slight nudge as Mercury is set to heliocentrically oppose Ceres in about 18 hours. CME impact and coronal hole stream set to hit today. Aurora watches in full effect at high latitude. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.